Welcome to Finance and Excel video number 100. Hey, if you want to download this workbook for chapter 10, click on the link directly below the video and scroll all the way down to the Finance Excel class section. In this video, we want to look at the T-bill return in relation to deflation and inflation and look at the real rate. Now, T-bills are considered risk-free, and that's from default, right? The government's not going to default on a short-term one-month treasury bill. And secondarily, the interest rate risk is very low because it's such a short term. But we want to consider inflation risk. So let's go ahead and calculate the real rate. So I'm going to say 1 plus the nominal divided by 1 plus, oh, our consumer price. And look at this, 26 to 32. That was um, these years of the depression right here. But look at this. There was deflation during these periods. So something interesting is going to happen. And I'm going to subtract 1. Now notice this is 1 plus a negative, which is only 0 0.0112. Right? So when you highlight this and hit the F9 key to evaluate, that number is less than 1. It's between 0 and 1. Control Z. So notice. Because that's true, this was 3.3%, but of course this one is 4.4. It's bigger. The analogy you can think about is if you take the number 2 and divide it by 0.5, notice whole number, this number is, less, is between 1 and 0. Of course, the answer is going to be bigger than that 2. Right? 2, answer is bigger. Same with here. 3.3, um, the answer is bigger. So if we calculate the mean <coughs> over this period, oh, look, nominal is 2.75. But what about the real rate? This is the change in purchase power, gigantic. And that's because of deflation. Now let's go look at another example, example 12 here. Uh, exactly the opposite. Look at inflation. So from 73 to 80. We had our T-bill rates in here, consumer price index, the inflation was high. So we'll do our real 1 plus the nominal divided by 1 plus our consumer price index, inflation minus 1. What? Negative? <laughs> yeah, our purchases, purchasing power went down. If we earned 7.9 and uh, inflation went up by uh, 8.71, you bet the purchasing power went down and the um, real return is going to be negative. So that means our nominal is going to be 7. But what is it here? It's going to be probably negative, negative 1.4. So although the default risk here is basically 0, and the interest rate risk is extremely low, close to 0. The inflation risk can be uh, quite substantial. So in this example, inflation was bigger than the T-bill. We got a, a real rate of return average based on history of negative. And this one, it was gigantic compared to the actual nominal return because we had deflation. All right, see you next video.